Up this week, we've got my crispy dark parsnip puree with a beautiful cherry glaze reduction. This is such a lovely little recipe. I love this dish. There's plenty of stages to actually create in this one as well. So we've got our duck breast. I'm just gonna literally just score, just over the skin, making sure you're not going too far into the meat. Pop that into a bowl. Now with the duck itself, all I've done is trim off any kind of sinew or, or overly fatty areas. Um, leaving the skin on, we're gonna add into there. Good sprinkle of thyme, little pinch of salt, good drizzle of olive oil, and that can go straight into our backpack machine. Now I've really got into this style of cooking just recently. Um, I'm quite new to this. I've been sent an Instanta sous vide, which is what we're gonna be using today. Um, it's a water bath and it cooks at a lower temperature for longer period of times. It just means that the meat itself is gonna retain all its juices and be really, really succulent. So we're just gonna seal this one off. This is kind of my new favorite thing to do. I think I like vat packing more than anything. Um, right, so that is all sealed and done. That's gonna go into our water bath for around 45 minutes, about 60 Celsius. We've got ourselves eight or nine sprouts here. And we're gonna put these in the sous vide as well. We're gonna put them in there for around 30 minutes. While that's cooking away, we're gonna get on with a really simple uh, parsnip puree. So you're gonna grab yourself a pan and get that up to heat. And into there, we're gonna add half a cup of milk and around three quarters of a cup of double cream. We've got two parsnips. Let's just chop these up into nice little cubes. And that's gonna go straight into your milk and cream. Two cloves of garlic. Good pinch of salt. I'm gonna let it simmer away for about 15 to 20 minutes. So that's thickened up perfectly. We've got ourselves a food blender. I'm just gonna pour that in, on with the lid, and this is gonna give that a quick blitz. Now that's been liquidized, that can go back in the pan to keep nice and warm. Okay, let's get the duck breast and the sprouts out of the sous vide. So we need a pan up to about a medium heat. We're gonna grab our duck breast and skin side down, we're gonna add about 25 grams of butter. Add in our sprouts, and over here, we've got some Cabernet Nero, which is just like a nice cabbage. We're just gonna take off the ends and just roughly chop that and that can go in as well. So really we're looking, trying to get color onto the meat itself. When you sous vide things, it very much leaves them looking a little bit pale. So you want to try and get color back on there again. And you're looking for some of that fat to actually come out of the skin itself and start to glaze those sprouts. So you've got a beautiful char there now on the vegetables. You flip that back over and now that can come to off just to rest. Now you've got all that flavor left in the pan with the fat from the duck itself. So we're gonna start making up a really, really simple cherry sauce. So we're gonna add one whole finely chopped shallot. We've got eight de-pipped cherries. We've got a shot of pork. And then we've got a cup of stock. And then finally, we've got one tablespoon of fresh honey. Once that's thickened up by about a half, you're gonna add about 10 grams of butter. Well, that sauce is a perfect little glaze. That's what you're looking for, really, really silky sauce. Right, let's serve this one up. We've got ourselves a plate, and we've got our gorgeous duck breast. It's been resting away. And we're just gonna slice these down into some nice, neat little slices. And that's what you're looking for, just literally just blushing. We've got some of our puree. Little smear. We've got a few of our sprouts, some of our cabbage. We've got our duck breast just over the top. And now we're just gonna put some little bits of watercress and some shoots just over the top. And then finally, we're just gonna add a little bit of our cherry glaze reduction just around the outside. Now that's quite a rich sauce. You just need a little bit, just drizzled around and that works perfectly with the duck breast. See, there we go. That is my sous vide duck breast with a parsnip puree. We've got beautiful Brussels sprouts done in a cherry glaze reduction. Now, if you do recreate this one, which hopefully you do, hashtag we taste kitchen as always. If you wanna know more about the Instanza sous vide range, click in the description box down below. It takes you straight through to their website, which shows you the full range of products. They're an absolute game changer as far as I'm concerned. I've used it nonstop for the last two weeks. It is a brilliant bit of kit. And I'll see you next week. Cheers then, bye-bye.